everybody, Colleen here with Colleen Beauty and Fashion. So what was in that box with all the paper? Underneath all that paper in that Sephora box was two kits that I ordered. I love this time of year, holiday and VIB sale, and it's a great time to pick up a lot of things that you are curious about and wanted to try all in one box. And we're going to unbox it together, and I'm going to show you all the things and why I thought these were such great kits. So the first thing I have to share with you is this one. So this is the holiday must-have Sephora favorites. So every year they come out with a favorites box and this year there were so many things in it that I wanted to try and hadn't tried yet. And so many great brands, I just had to pick this one up. It really is a great value and I think the sale is over now, but even for the rest of the holidays, this is a great kit. I'm gonna open it up and show you what's inside. Oh, look how pretty. Look how pretty this is. So exciting. So there are many things in here that I heard about over the course of the past year that I wanted to try, but I hadn't picked up yet. So let's start with the full-sized. I believe this one is full-sized. Let me just check. It says on the front of the box. Yes, so this is the uh, Kat Von D, or KVD, I guess it is now tattoo liner so if you've been watching my channel at all you know I love a black eyeliner and I think this particular brand is known for the precision of their eyeliner so I'm excited to try that out let's see if we can draw a little line and check it out yeah look nice and thin beautiful so it'll be exciting to wear that in the next while and show it off for you. Next we have a full-sized Ilia mascara. So I've been trying several mascaras lately and I did hear about this one from other beauty YouTubers so I'm excited to try it. It's called Limitless Lash Mascara and here it is. Oh interesting wand. It's nice and spaced. Lots of bristles, so that'll be a good one to try. Next, we've got the Grande Lash Peptide Lash Enhancing Serum. So I'm really excited to try this out. I haven't tried any serums for my lashes or my brows yet, and I would like to see my lashes a little bit longer, a little bit stronger. So if something like this would work, I'd be really excited. I'll let you know. So moving on down the line, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Uh, face facial setting spray a couple of the youtubers that I follow uh, Ali Glines in particular She really loves this one and so I thought I'd give it a shot and it, I was so excited to see it in this kit So a nice little trial bottle so I can see if I like it and next we have a product from milk I've never bought anything from milk before but I've heard lots of good things about the brand. This is a hydro grip primer now, I'm not sure about grip primers and how they work, so this will be an interesting test for me. I have a feeling it might be a little bit sticky and tacky, and I'm not sure how that will work for me, but I'm wanting to give it a shot. And I heard that Milk is, like, as I said, a really good brand, so this is a nice little trial size. And I'll let you know how that works, too. There are several products now that I was super excited to see in this kit because I'd heard so many good things about them and one of them I'm just thrilled about. But let's start with this. This is the Fenty Gloss Balm. Again, it's gotten rave reviews everywhere. This color is low, so I expect it'll be pretty neutral. If I can open it, there we go. <laughs> So let's see. Oh, it's a little bit orange. Can you see? A little bit peachy orange color. Very nice. So we'll give that a shot. And the packaging I really like. I think that's really pretty. And next we have from Rare Beauty, one of their tinted, I think they're called Soft Pinch Blush. This is the color Joy. Now in the summertime, I really, really wanted this color. I have bought the full size of this one, 
when I couldn't get Joy, and this is the color Believe, and I've used it quite a bit actually, and it's really, really tinted, really, really powerful. I think I have a video about this one when I did my 30 products in 30 days, it was one of them, so I'll put a little picture here for you to check that out. But uh, I really do like this, but I, in the summertime, I really wanted this color, and it was sold out all the time. So I was thrilled to see it in this collection. And, you know, I'm not sure if it's a winter color. I'll try it out. It doesn't look like a winter color, but come spring, it'll be beautiful. So this next item I'm thrilled about. This is the Natasha Denona Retro Mini Palette. And I haven't tried any Natasha. Oh, that's not true. I did have one that I loved. Here it is, the Mini Glam Palette. And I've used it quite a bit. I did drop it too and this one got smashed you can see which is unfortunate because it's a beautiful color so I continue to use it I just kind of put my finger in there and dab it on but I do love this palette so when I saw that this one was in there I thought oh it's so beautiful and these colors are such soft nice colors and so wearable I think all year round I think they'll be nice but particularly in the fall and winter so I'm thrilled about this one and trying it. So there's some swatches for you of the three colors. I think they're pretty beautiful. So this color here, the burgundy shade, is called Amara. And the, nope, sorry, that's wrong. It's called Nude Mauve, Nude Mauve here. And then the next one is Jude. This beautiful shimmer color here. Really excited about that one. And then the next one is called Amara. That's Amara. So, can you see? Very pretty color. I think that'll be a great transition shade. So, really excited to try these. Um, I'll let you know when I'm, I might even do a video on some of these things that I've received and just kind of put them all a face of all my Sephora holiday must haves kit. That would be a good video. And last but not least, I have this Anastasia Be Beverly Hill Brow Freeze. Now, I've never used anything like this. I'm not even sure that I need it or what to do with it. So that'll be a fun experiment. <laughs> we'll see. Um, my eyebrows, I just kind of fill them in and, you know, comb them out. And that's basically been it. But I know that putting the wax or something on them, is something a lot of people do so I'll give it a shot happy to try it and Anastasia is always a great brand so I know it'll be a high quality product so that's it for the Sephora favorites box I have another box so here is the other thing I chose this is the holiday lip kit oh my goodness I'm so excited for this so Inside here, there are some really great brands. Let's open it up and maybe do some swatching and some testing. So here it is again. Oh, so exciting. I get so excited about these. So here you can see all the different lip products that are in here. Several of them I wanted during the course of the year and didn't get around to buying. So I'm so thrilled to have them now. So who doesn't recognize this classic packaging? Of course, this is Pat McGrath with the really cute little lips on the mini. This shade is called Vendetta. I've never had a Pat McGrath lipstick, so I'm so excited to try. Everybody raves about her formula. This clearly is a matte. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh, what a great color. You know me, I love color, so that's awesome. So excited to try that. I guess that's the best way to see it. What would you call that? Like a real, almost cherry red. Excellent, and I love the name too, Vendetta. That's a great name. Now this is one I really, really wanted. I talked about uh, when Gwen Stefani launched her makeup and I said, who better than Gwen Stefani to put out a red lipstick, right? So this is her line. I believe it's called Give. It's a little strange the way it's um, printed there, but I believe that's what it says. And here's the lipstick, a beautiful red. Look at that. I think I may have to try this one tomorrow. 
And let's swatch it here on my hand first. Let's do it up here. Look at that. Great, great color. Kind of close to this one, but a little pinker, I think. Beautiful. I think I might want to actually put this on. So stay tuned. I'm going to go take off what I have on and I'll put on this lipstick. Okay, I hadn't realized that I didn't do a very good job of putting the one I had on before, so I apologize for that. But let's try this Gwen Stefani one. I do need a mirror, a little magnifying mirror that pops off my fancy makeup mirror, which I will list down below if you don't have one. It's a great mirror with lights and a little magnifier. So here we go. I have to take my glasses off to use the magnifying mirror. Mm. Beautiful. Nice creamy formula. What do you think? It has kind of a candy smell to it. Definitely has a smell. So if you like your makeup to be odorless or scentless, you won't like this one. It's definitely got a candy smell to it. So loving that. That's definitely a great, great lipstick. Thank you, Gwen. Okay, moving on. We have from Fenty. This is a matte lipstick called Backtalk from Fenty Beauty. So let's see. I got the gloss balm in the other one. Oh, this is a nice nude shade. Look at that. Very pretty. Very pretty. Let's swatch that. Oh, yes. It's very creamy, too. That's it right there. Very creamy, very nice. It's looking a little pinker in the camera than it actually looks in uh, real life. It is very much a nude, pinky nude. So that's really nice, excited about that one. And then we have, just broke the plastic. It's okay, I don't need the plastic. Okay, so now we have the Too Faced Lip Injection. Now, I have heard a lot about this, and I'm all about the plumping of the lips, if you can do it with a lip gloss. So it says, instant and long-term lip plumper. I think it has something in it that, you know, makes, stings your lips a little bit, so they plump up. But let's give it a shot. It's very pretty. See? Very pretty. I'm gonna put it right over the red. See if I get plumpy red lips. Mm. Smells like watermelon. And you can feel it's got that little bit of bite to it. Mm. Definitely adds a nice gloss. Yeah, I like this. Okay, that's good. I kind of stained it red now, but I'm sure that'll be fine. Next we have the NARS. I think this is a classic one. NARS lip gloss. And it's called, oh, the printing is very small. Orgasm, my favorite blush. So this would be the Orgasm Lip Balm. So here we go, we'll swatch a little bit. Running out of places to swatch. Let's try it right there. Nice and clear. It's, it'll give just a little bit of peachy gold glow, I think. Peachy gold, I think. You see it there? Very nice. Oh, I didn't recognize the case and I should have. So this is something I've been dying to try. Those of you who are probably laughing at me there, Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. <sighs> Iconic, right? And I don't have it yet. So I thought, oh my gosh, when I saw it was in this kit, I had to have it, right? So look at that. There it is in all its glory. And I will swatch it. <laughs> Right here. I mean, you've probably all seen it a million times, but look at that beautiful color. So I'm so excited to try this. It will be the only thing I've really tried from the Pillow Talk line from Charlotte Tilbury, but I would like to try more. But this lipstick is a great place to start, isn't it? And thrilled to have a full size of that. So just the cost of this alone makes this whole kit worth it. Last but not least in this kit, this lip kit, Holiday Favorites, is from Rare Beauty. 
and it's a lip gloss and its name is Nearly Neutral. And look at this interesting packaging. She did a great job with her packaging, I think, Selena Gomez. It, it's flat on the back. Can you tell? See that? It's very cool. So here we go. It's nice brown. It's a little bit browner than the pillow top. Oh yeah, it's quite a nice brown actually. Can you see? That'll be very nice over a brownie nude lipstick. So I am so thrilled with both of these kits that I purchased. They would make great holiday gifts. I'll be putting a link to a new storefront I have. Um, it's an affiliate link for all my favorite things that will be in the store. And uh, of course, all these items are available individually at Sephora, but in the kit, I think is just a great way for you to try everything all at once and just have so much fun. And that's what the holiday should be all about. So I'm so thrilled that you joined me for this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing. I'm building this community of women who love fashion and love beauty and are 50 plus, actually almost 60 now. <laughs> so I hope you consider uh, liking and for sure subscribing. So as always, here's Miss Bonnie to say goodbye. She's got a new parka she wanted to show off to you. It's gotten a little chilly here, and I got her hair cut, so she needed a little jacket. So I think it's quite cute. Show the back. Yes, a little puffy parka for Bonnie for when we go on our walks. Okay, you ready to say bye-bye to the people? Hmm? You want to show them your hood? She doesn't like the hood. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like it very much. She thinks, she doesn't like it very much. She thinks, I've lost all my dog pride now. <laughs> Her face, so hilarious. Anyway, okay, I'll put it back. There you go. Gotta show off those ears. Okay, here we go. Say bye-bye now. Bye. <laughs> okay then, bye-bye now.